back. Today I'm talking you through how to do this vibrant Thanksgiving inspired makeup look. Got a spicy lip, a yellow cut crease and some burnt orange and reds in the smoky eye. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click the bell to have notifications turned on for my channel. And let's get started. I'm going to start by applying a primer and today I'm using the NYX Hydra Touch Primer all over my skin. For foundation today, I'm using the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. This is a full coverage foundation, so if you are trying to achieve that kind of natural, no makeup makeup look, this is not the one for you. This will cover anything and everything, but it's not gonna look like skin, so do bear that in mind. I'm kind of going for that whole Instagram vibe in this look today, so this is exactly what I'm looking for. To apply my foundation, I'm using the Clinique Buffing Brush. I like to just blend it out in circular motions, and then I'll take the brush and do slight stippling motions, and I do find that that is the best way to get a good coverage using this foundation. For my brows today, I'm using the NYX Eyebrow Gel in the shade Brunette. I freaking love this stuff. It's about six pounds for the tube. And if you're a fan of the Anastasia Dip Brow or any kind of creamy brow products like that, then it's definitely worth checking this one out because it's so affordable and so easy to use. To carve out my brows, I'm using the Hourglass Vanish Finish Foundation Stick. This is one of my favourite full coverage foundations and I personally love to use it like I would with a concealer. Today I'm going to use it to carve out my brows. And to set my eyes today, I'm using the Ben Nye Super White Loose Powder. For my eyes today, I'm going to be using the Sugar Pill Pro Eyeshadows. I've never used these before, these just got sent to me in the post. It's going to go horribly wrong. Don't try, you don't know. These are raw pressed eyeshadows, they're all completely vegan. I will start by using the Sugar Pill Pressed Powder Flame Point, which is a really beautiful warm orange. Start by rolling that into the crease and buffing it out. Next I'm going to take the shade Love Plus and this is just going to go into the outer corner of the crease and also the deepest part. Taking the shade Castle on the Hill and I'm just going to deepen up the outer corner of the eye. shade Bulletproof which is a matte black shadow and using a small blending brush I'm just going to apply that to the deepest part of the crease. For the lid I'm going back to the Hourglass Vanish Finish Foundation Stick and I'm going to start carving out the lid for a cut crease. Use any flat shading brush just to outline the shape of your lid. To set the concealer and bring the whole look together with a pop of colour, I'm using the Sugar Pill Butter Cupcake Pressed Eyeshadow. This is a really vibrant yellow shadow, so just go for it and have fun with colour in this look. For eyeliner today, I'm using the Marc Jacobs Precision Pen Eyeliner and I'm going to go ahead and apply a bold wing. For mascara today, I'm using the Rimmel Scandalize Reloaded Mascara. To finish off my eyes, I'm going for the House of Lashes Knockout False Lashes. Now that the majority of my eyes are done, it's time to move back to the base. And I'm going quite old school today, and I'm taking the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. I feel like I haven't used this in like forever. So I'm gonna give this a go today, and I'm gonna take the lightest two contour shades here and apply those across the center of my forehead, the hollows of my cheeks, under my jaw, and the sides of my nose. I'm gonna move on to that darker shade and just press that into the hollows of my cheeks. And to highlight, I'm going back to the Hourglass Vanish Finish Foundation Stick. And to blend that out, I'm using the same Clinique buffing brush that I used for my foundation. To 
conceal my dark circles and highlight the under eye area I'm using the Blanc Vanish Finish Foundation Stick. And once again I'm using that same Clinique brush to blend it out. And to set the under eye area I'm using the Ben Nye Super White Loose Powder. To finish up the under eye area, I'm going back to those sugar pill eyeshadows. So I'm taking the orange shade Flame Point and I'm just going to lay that on the lower lash line. Taking the shade Love Plus, followed by the shade Bulletproof. And using the Zoeva Graphic Eyes Liner Pen in the shade Opulence, I'm going to line my lower lash line. And to finish up my eyes, I'm going back to the Rimmel Scandalized Mascara. For blush today, I'm using the NYX Ombre Blush in the shade Feel the Heat. You really do not need much of this blush. <laughs> That's so bright. That is a lot of blush. Mm, I'll style it out. Yeah, I'll hope for the best. Highlight today, I'm using the Zoeva Strobe Gel, and this is in the shade Halo. This is a brand new product. I have swatched it, but I've never tried it on. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a first shot and hope that it doesn't ruin everything, because that would just be tragic. tragic. I can see that. All right, I'm okay with that. I need more highlight, more highlight, more of this, more of everything. I'm going to use the NYX Illuminator and this is in the shade Ritualistic Ritual. This could go horribly wrong. I don't even know if I've used this before. That's showing up a bit more. Yeah. Now my nose looks too strong. I'm going to put it under my brows, in a corner of my eye. Above those brows, a little bit more. Yeah, that'll do. Finally, to finish off the whole look, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Spicy Liquid Lipstick. This is the finished look. It is my Thanksgiving inspired makeup look. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this look and if you have any suggestions for future looks then let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!